505. I really struggle not to call it back to 505 because, well, because he says back to 505. So that must be the title of the song. It's by Arctic Monkeys. My name is Stuart. Welcome to the channel. Guys, okay, what we got to do today is we got to have a guitar that is in standard tuning. The other thing you need to do is you need to learn these chords and notes that I'm going to show you. First things first. I need to tell you that this song does not need to have any bar chords in it. It has optional bar chords. I'll show you. I'm going to take you through the different riffs. They all just repeat a bunch, but here's the basic, the basic thing you need to know is these two chords right here. This is a D minor and an E minor, guys. Put your pointer finger on the fifth fret of the bottom string. Put your middle finger on the sixth fret of the second to bottom string. Put your ring finger on the seventh fret of the third string from the bottom. Go ahead and just strum those bottom three strings. Did you see the spit that left my mouth? Play the bottom three strings just nice and gentle. I do this like nice, like slow strum. I'm not like picking each note, but I'm just slowly going through so I hear the cascade of notes from the chord. D minor, guys. You play that, you go one, two, three, four, then you just take the exact same shape and move it one, two frets up, so now you're on seven, eight, and nine, and just strum that. Two, three, four. If you just strummed those two chords for the entire song, that would work. You could play that and sing along, it would be a great time. But we want it to be a little more interesting, right? So here's what I recommend. At the beginning, the organ is playing. We are, I, we don't, I, we're going to play the organ part on guitar, which is just what we just did. Those two chords, you do that probably like four times or something, right? Just back and forth between those two chords. Then you hear the guitar enter, and it's doing exactly what we're doing. So we're still just doing this. Now, if you would like, so this... These chords are pretty much what they're doing on the recording, but if you want a little bit more depth to these chords, here's what you can do. Take your ring finger, move it one string up. So now your ring finger's on the seventh fret of the third string from the top. Then put your pinky on the seventh fret of the third string from the bottom. So we were doing this with three fingers. Now you move your ring finger up, add your pinky right there, strum the bottom four strings. <laughs> Still not a bar chord, as you can see, but the chords, and then just take that shape and move it up, sound a little bit fuller. Here's what I like to do. I like to do the three note version like four times. And then after I've done that four times, I go ahead and switch. And then it kind of builds up. We can feel the, we can feel the, 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 the excitement of the song building as time goes on. Okay, let me show you this fancy little thing here. When they get to the chorus, they add in this thing. So here's how we do that. You play the first chord, two, three, then you play the second one, two, you play that second chord, you just hold it out for two beats, just one, two, then you abandon that chord, and on the bottom string, play 12, 10, 8, 7. That was 12, 10, 8, seven because it's all in one string and it's not too fast you could probably use one finger to play all of that and go i like to go like this i go ring finger pointer finger and then middle finger pointer finger it just makes it easier for me it doesn't change the sound of it at all let's practice doing the chords and that little lead part mm, how about twice in a row one two three four and chord two then move it up and one, two, 12, 10, eight, seven, chord. That's a little tricky getting back to the chord. And one, two, 12, 10, eight, seven. Yes, I believe they do that four times in a row for the chorus. I got a message. It is a boring message. And that's what I have to say about that. Okay, guys, we have to learn the solo. After the first chorus, I assume it's the chorus, when he sings back to 505, back to 505, that's the chorus, right? We have to go like this. We have to go. So here's what this is. Third string from the bottom, you're going to play nine, seven, five, four, two. Nine, seven, five, four, two. Here's the rhythm. 
Nine, seven, five, four, two. Fast, fast, slow, slow, slow. Uh, 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 bat it, bop, bop, bop. One more time. Bing, bang, bing, bong, bong. Great. Then go right back up to four, and then right back up to five. So now it's nine, seven, five, four, two, four, five. Let's play it one more time. Nine, seven, five, four, two, four, five. And then you're gonna play five, 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 four. The way I'm doing that over here, I'm going down, up, down, up, down. If I try to go down, 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 it sounds too frantic. And you guys know me, I don't like to, I don't like to sound frantic at all. So we're going five, 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 four. No, that was the opposite of what I wanted. Five, 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 four. What am I doing? Up, down, up, down, up. I don't know. Alternate your pick direction is what I'm trying to say. I'm definitely dying. Nine, seven, five, four, two, four, five, 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 four. Yeah, I go up, down, up, down, up. That's the opposite of what I said earlier. Great. Okay, I'm so glad this is going so well. My name's Stuart. Welcome to the channel. Go ahead and like and subscribe and all that stuff. I have the microphone in the worst place where it has a shadow on my face. See, look. Oh, my face is lit. My face is dark. You can't tell. Hi. Did I already say subscribe? Go ahead and, you know, whatever. Okay. You play that. Then you're on to now. You're on the fourth fret. You go up, down, up, down. Slide up to nine and go up, down, up, down, up, down, up. When you put it, it sounds confusing. It just goes like this. Just copy that rhythm. It doesn't even need to be perfect, guys. Let's play that all the way through together twice. That's the solo. One, two, three, four. Then we just go right back to the chords, guys. Okay, now at this point, it gets a little quiet part where it gets very quiet, and then it gets very loud. It gets very loud. You have two options. You have, well, you have multiple options during the loud part. Here's what's probably gonna be your best bet, but it does involve bar chords, but you don't have to do it. Check it out. We need a D minor bar chord. Have your pointer finger bar everything on the fifth fret. So you're just smashing down on the fifth fret of all six strings. Put your middle finger on the sixth fret of the second string from the bottom. Then have your ring finger on the seventh fret of the third string from the top and your pinky on the seventh fret of the third string from the bottom. Here's the rhythm we're gonna do. We're gonna go down, up, up, down, up, up, down, up, up, down, up. Let's do that together. So it was down, up, up, down, up, up, down, up, up, down, up. A one, two, three, four. Down, up, up, down, up, up, down, up, up, down, up. Have you noticed? I, I, I'm not even joking at all. I completely have been thinking about something completely unrelated, but like I was deep in thought about it and just in total autopilot. Could you see in my eyes? Could you see all life leave my eyes? And I'm just, did I, did the things I just say made sense? Cause I was really truly in a whole different world. Okay. We do that on this D minor chord. Then you just take that same, I'm back by the way, I'm here. You take that same bar chord and you move it one, two frets over. This is an E minor bar chord. So now pointer fingers barring on the seventh fret, ring fingers on nine, pinkies on nine, middle fingers on eight, and you do the same rhythm. That's pretty fun, right? You get to rock back and forth like that. Oh, my computer's dying, so my frame rate's getting very weak. I better hurry up and get through this thing. So you do that. The other option you can do that's kind of fun is you can go. So what I'm doing here is just with my pointer finger, I am barring again, but it's easy. You just play the bottom three strings all on the 10th fret, and we pluck up, up, up on those bottom three strings. Actually, it's up, up, down, up, up, down, up, up, down, up, up, down. So check this out. We're going ba 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 
just those three notes. Then you slide that up to the 12th fret and you do the exact same thing. Then we get to the outro solo where we go. Here's what, it's almost exactly the same as what we were doing over here, but it's higher up on the guitar. We go like this, we go 12, 10, 8, 7, 5. 12, 10, 8, 7, 5. It's like a phone number, but except for phone numbers don't have the number 12 in them. One, two, three, four, 12, 10, 8, 7, 5. Then back to seven, then back to eight. ba da ba ba then you go eight, 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 seven. Then you go seven, 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 twelve, 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 twelve. They do that four times in a row, guys. How about you and I do it two times in a row? One, two, nice and slow. And look at this. We just, oh, I messed it up. I was on a roll and then I messed it up. What I was going to say is you just go back to the solo from the middle of the song. You do that like four times and then the song's over. And it ends on a big old chord. Does it end on an E minor or does it end on a D minor? Let's see. I made up a whole new part of the song. I say we end on a, on a D minor chord, guys. That was the five, six, seven. You just go, and then it's the end of the song. So I don't feel like I, I don't feel like I really taught you this song. 